Hi folks, it's John from KingstonSandblasting.com. I'd like to share with you, this is a vehicle that we have on the rotisserie that we're, we're media blasting or sand blasting. And I must admit it's very, very difficult. Uh, it's very, very tricky uh, to sand blast exterior panels of a car. Now this is a 1965, so the metal's a little bit thicker than say a car of today, but there's a lot of skill involved uh, to blast and to clean it very thoroughly and not hurt the vehicle. So you can see that this firewall had um, a bunch of undercoating and debris. It's been in an accident one time and repaired. And you can see there was a, a bunch of uh, goop. There's still, I just left a little bit there just to show in the video. That's really thick undercoating and the whole thing was plastered with that. And what we'll do is once we rotate it, um, we'll blast the rest of that. You'll see there's some exposure uh, you know, like Swiss cheese kind of thing, a little bit of rust through, which we want to be able to see because a lot of people uh, wouldn't clean it that thoroughly. They would just scuff it and sand it and then paint over top. And there was body filler in there, which we removed with the blasting, uh, sand blasting media that we used. When you come down the side, we've done this intersection, the inner rocker. This is just sand here. Um, so what we've done is we've cleaned all this up and you can see it looks virtually like brand new again. Um, so we've exposed um, all of the areas that might need some repair when we come down further on the quarter panel. Um, you can see, and you can't tell in the video, um, but these panels, this is a really long quarter panel and a really long section here. Um, there's absolutely no warpage, there's no damage to the body whatsoever. So um, by media blasting this body as opposed to many hours of sanding, um, this, in my opinion, is definitely the way to go, is to media blast it. It certainly doesn't hurt the metal. You can see in this area, this is all lead. So this is a lead repair, and you can see the different color. Hopefully it, can, it shows up in the camera. This gives you an idea of um, if there is excessive heat or excessive uh, use or too close with the blasting, this would create a lot of warpage, especially with the lead, because the lead is very, very soft. So when you're media blasting, um, you have to be careful on what's below it. You can see there's some rust pinholes uh, rusting through here, um, and that was body filler on top of it. So we're really careful as you're media blasting that you remove the body filler. You, if you had too much heat or too much pressure, it would literally make this all wavy because this is the weakest point of this panel and you'll notice there's no warpage whatsoever. Uh, it's nice and straight. And then even the lead, the lead is not hurt or damaged because it's um, more of a technique, like a dusting technique uh, to go across there. Once again, most people, um, when, they, when they sandblast or media blast something, it's too much pressure and they're not paying attention to the panel. Uh, and you have to make sure that it doesn't heat up and create a problem. So you can see how nice this is now. The curves are, uh, as they should be, and then it exposes some more rust here. Uh, this is a very, very poor repair that was done uh, years ago. You can see there's body filler. We left a little bit of body filler just to show the customer, uh, and then we'll remove that later. Um, a lot of uh, sandblast firms uh, claim they're not able to media blast or sandblast body filler. Uh, we at KingstonSandblasting.com definitely can. This was all body filler. It's been removed and it didn't hurt the panel at all. And then once again with the lead, we didn't hurt that. So this is the passenger side of the 65 Fury. And if we come to the driver's side, uh, same kind of idea, except you'll see um, not as much damage, but we've got some body filler here. And once again, left that to show the customer. We're going to take pictures of it. Uh, he was told there's never been body filler in this car, car and it's all original body. And you can see there's body damage here and then above the uh, quarter panel here above the wheel, there's a lot of body filler and a tremendous amount. And we've left this just to show, uh, probably won't come up in the camera very well, but that's very, very thick. There's a huge dent there and the body filler was from here to here. Um, so we dusted it off and then we'll take the rest of the body filler off. Uh, we just want to see where that big dent is right now. So once again, you can see how nice and clean and tidy this is. You come into the rocker panel. So this is our, our driver's side door opening. And then we, uh, we did a little bit of the floor here and we'll do more once it turns on the rotisserie. But you can see the difference between that heavy rusted area and beside it where it's all been sandblasted. There's quite a difference. 
uh, between uh, not media blasting and getting it all nice and clean and then same thing along the front um, so this is uh, quite a, a it's quite a job to do it um, but in my opinion this is the best way um, to thoroughly remove all of the different products and chemicals that are on a car body so at kingstonsandblasting.com we sandblast or media blast virtually anything so if you have any questions you can email me it's john at lastchanceautorestore.com i thank you for watching